Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, you know, today I stepped outside and the energy was just beautiful. I can feel what really now we are truly going towards um, our African calendar new year. I can feel the hopes that everybody is having. It's all up in the in the in the spirit. You know, you can you can't help but feel it's so rejuvenating and it feels so nice. But then within all these beautiful energies of people who are determined that this year come what may whatever generational case whatever hurdles whatever uh, challenges they've been having they are breaking free they are breaking free and they are breaking forth they're coming out of their shells and nobody wants to uh, now still wallow in pity. Everybody is like, you know, I'm going out there and I'm going to get mine. But then I also felt something, and please don't hear me wrong. I'm not giving you a prophecy here. I'm giving you, I'm giving you, it's like common sense. It's just that sometimes we throw caution to the wind, you know, and then we tend to say, no, um, so I'm not going to live in fear and I'm just going to go out there and do my thing. I refuse to be controlled by fear. And of course, if you let your, if you let fear determine whatever decisions that you make, you won't get anywhere in life, true. However, however, within those beautiful energies, there's a huge serpent. So I seek for everyone to be very cautious. What do I mean that within the beauty of what this spring and summer are gonna bring for us that there's a serpent what do i mean i mean that now we are going to see a rise in human trafficking it's not a prophecy it's common sense everything has seasons we know that right and what i hate and fear the most about human trafficking is that it's a silent crime it's a crime that we barely hear the cries of the victims. And we barely know that it's going on. And people just disappear and nobody searches for them. Because ain't nobody know that they've disappeared anyway. Our APEs are going to increase. S O D I M I S E D is gonna. So please take care of yourselves, take care of the children, both boys and girls. And contrary to popular belief, boys are most exposed. Take care of that boy child, protect that boy child. Talk to that boy child. Know everything that that boy child is going through. Know the friends, the teachers. Know whom he's speaking to in the streets. Learn to, to listen to your child. Because you will be able to foresee the dangers that are creeping into your space before they even become dangerous. When you are in malls and shopping centers and um, in restaurants, please do look around. Don't just say, no, um, I'm in, 
I mean something. Nothing can happen. That is where human trafficking is most. Don't just say, I mean mainly. That is where human trafficking is most. Um, that is where you are most exposed. Because they know you are most relaxed. You go into uh, a public toilet that there is nobody else except you in and you don't fear anything simply because you are in main lane and they can corner you drag you and drag you out without nobody knowing these things happen a few victims who were able to run away from the laws of um these traffickers were able to come out and say hey look here this happened to me at Santin. this happened to me at melrose this happened to me in main lane please let's be careful hence i say the energies are so beautiful I see beautiful colors, beautiful pinks, beautiful greens, beautiful whites. I can already see that you're going to come out looking beautiful, all of you. And I just can't wait. Much as I'm an introvert, I'm an introvert that really, you know, I think that I was put on this planet just to be a witness. Because I just love standing in my corner and I know you'll be looking beautiful. Just be cautious. Be aware. Don't live your life in fear. Just be aware of your surroundings. And don't take unnecessary risks. Be aware of um, your... For example... Let's make a little example about the robbery. Bushiri's church. There was no reason for those people to have their bank cards and their most valuables not to a night vigil. They could have saved themselves major losses. Hmm? But then things that were not supposed to be on a person at night because at night i expect you to have only what you need you need your id in case something happens and you land in hospital may you not be a john doe or a jane doe may you have a name your id is supposed to be on you at all times that i expect to be on you but then most times people's ids are not on them instead you get the bank card actually this is the year that you don't even need to be walking around with a phone or with a bank app on it unless you intend to use them if you can have two phones please do that and when you're going out take the phone that does not have a bank app on it Take the phone that you can afford to lose because it does not have much of your personal information. Leave the phone that carries your life at home. Let's be cautious. I see a spike. Reason being the COVID season that we're coming from. I see a rise in accidents. Because of the excitement. You can feel it in the atmosphere. There's energy, there's hope. People are breaking out. Where there is light, there is darkness. Best belief. Be careful. Because you're going out there, you are excited and everything. You know the saying that says, That only becomes true because when you are too happy, you forget about being cautious. 
you forget to scan your surroundings. You are driving. You can clearly see the person ahead of you is swerving. That person might be having a heart attack, epilepsy attack, might be drunk, might be bitten by a bee or a snake inside that car of his, you, or maybe that person is being hijacked. You don't know what's going on. Yet you're fighting to overtake. Can you see how many dangers I'm, I'm trying to highlight to you? Hmm? Young girls are going to go out and try, uh, try their lucks with these rich men who are going to, like this young kid who was taken to the rooftop, you know, and threatened to be thrown off. Imagine. You're going to see a spike in that. Kasutu Arba Trace. We don't have a lot of rice, but we don't have a lot I will tell you a story about my cousin, Kiriboni. The one time when we nearly lost her. Just to emphasize this point of please be careful. Please be careful. And please, my lovely people, um, that's all I have. Uh, do hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification button, and see you on the next video. And hopefully, before tomorrow, I will upload the story time about the time we nearly lost Giriboni. And you will see that sometimes, let Tabolamana indeed. Let you see so this year let's make it a year that a blessed season remains a blessed season all we have to do is one thing on top of that prayer that we've been praying throughout ne? that is going to burst forth coming from our african new year going forward we just need to top a sprinkle niana of caution on it. Not fear. Caution. Caution. Scan your surroundings. Scan your surroundings. That that is different from those people who have hypersensitive traumas. I think we we will we will have to talk about that next time when i say scan your surroundings i'm not talking about developing a high percent no that that is counterproductive we will talk about that next time